Have you ever wondered why most of the internet feels like it's built on layers of sticky tape? Why fixing one thing often breaks another? And why it all feels so slow and clunky? What if the entire design is fundamentally flawed and there's a completely different way to build things? For years, the world of blockchain has followed a similar path, adding layer after layer to try and get faster. But this often creates more problems than it solves leading to slow, complicated, and expensive experiences. Today, we're going to explore a project that decided to ignore that trend and build something different from the ground up. We're going to break down the technology of the internet computer or ICP to understand its unique architecture and why its approach to speed up is creating efficiency and turning heads. Imagine you want to build a skyscraper. The standard way in blockchain right now is like starting with a two-story house. When you need more space, you just build another small house on top of it and another on top of that. Each house is a different layer and getting from the ground floor to the top floor requires going through multiple separate structures. It's complicated, slow, and things can get lost or broken along the way. This is the challenge many blockchains face with their layer one and layer two architectures. They are trying to solve a fundamental design problem by adding more complexity on top. The internet computer's philosophy is different. It's like designing the skyscraper from day one with a single unified blueprint. Everything, the foundation, the elevator shafts, the living spaces is part of one cohesive plan. This is what's known as a single stack chain. It's the first major piece of the puzzle we need to understand. The internet computer integrates everything it needs. We are talking consensus, execution, and storage into one unified layer. Think of it like a computer where the processor, memory, and hard drive are all designed to work together perfectly from the start. This approach can lead to a significant reduction in latency or the delay when you feel when you click something. The project's documentation suggests this can be around 40 to 60% lower than in multi-layer systems because there's no need to send information across clunky bridges or between different layers that weren't originally designed to speak to each other. It's all happening in the same place, which makes everything faster, smoother, and more secure. And now let's talk about security and speed. In a decentralized network, many computers need to agree on every transaction. This usually involves a lot of digital signatures being sent back and forth, which creates a lot of traffic and slows things down. It's like trying to get a document approved by 30 different people, and each person has to physically sign it and pass it along. ICP uses something called chain key cryptography, which is a clever way to bundle all these approvals into one. It uses advanced cryptographic method called threshold BLS signatures. Instead of 30 individual signatures, you get one single super signature that represents the agreement of the whole group. This is incredibly efficient. It's reported to cut communication overhead by 70 to 85% compared to typical methods. This efficiency is a key reason why the internet computer can achieve transaction finality the moment a transaction is permanent and can't be reversed. And we're talking in on average times of 0.47 seconds. Inside every blockchain, there's a virtual machine, which is like a brain that runs a code for applications. Many blockchains use the Ethereum virtual machine or acronym EVM. Think of the EVM as a specialized custom built engine. It's good at what it does, but it's not the fastest or most flexible engine out there because the internet computer uses a different engine called WebAssembly or WASM. WASM is a modern high performance standard that was designed to run code on web nearly as fast as it could run on your actual computer. Think of it like this, like a high performance general purpose engine that can be used for many different things. And because of its modern design, Wasm can process code much more efficiently. And some analysis suggests Wasm execution can be two to five times more efficient 
than EVM. This means application ICP, which are called canisters, can do more with less. They can handle massive amounts of data, even terabytes, without needing to constantly call on external storage services, which would slow down everything, keeping everything in-house. This way is said to reduce delays by around 60 to 75%. So how does the internet computer handle more users and more applications? Many blockchains solve this by adding layer twos, which we discussed earlier. It's like stacking more houses on top of each other. This often leads to a fragmented system where your assets on one layer are easily accessible on another. And ICP solves this by scaling, by adding subnets. A subnet, which you can see is basically a complete blockchain in itself, run by a group of machines, the network can create new subnets whenever it needs more capacity. This is called horizontal scaling, which is like adding more skyscrapers next to each other instead of on top of each other. And each new subnet adds a thousand more capacity to the entire network. And thanks to chain cryptography, these subnets can communicate with each other incredibly fast. And as data suggests calls between subnets are 50 to 70% faster than sending information across typical bridges that connect different blockchain. This creates a single seamless universe for all apps running on ICP, no matter how big the network gets. This might be one of the biggest game changers for everyday users on most blockchains. Every single action you take, sending a token, liking a post, minting an NFT requires you to pay a gas fee. Imagine if you had to pay a small fee every time you sent an email or liked a photo on social media, it would get annoying very quickly and stop a lot of people from using the service. The internet computer completely flips this around with its reverse gas model. On ICP, users pay zero gas fees. Instead, the developers of an entire preload, their application, their canisters with cycles which are the fuel for computation. It's like the developer pays for the server costs, just like with a regular website or app. This removes 100% of the friction for the user, making it possible to create blockchain-based applications that feel just as smooth and easy to use as web apps we use every day. Have you ever noticed how some blockchain networks can feel super fast one moment, then incredibly slow the next? This is because the time it takes to process transactions can vary a lot. This variance can often be as high as 20 to 40% on some networks, and that's a big difference. For developers trying to build reliable applications, this is a huge headache. ICP, it uses a system called deterministic time slicing. Deterministic just means that it's predictable. This system ensures that the network's performance is incredibly stable with transaction processing speed varying by only about 3 to 5%. It does this by giving each task a specific slice of time to execute. If a task is too big, it automatically gets paused and resumes in the next slice, ensuring that no single complex task can slow down the entire network. This predictability is crucial for building applications that need to feel responsive and reliable all the time. Many decentralized applications don't actually store all of the data on the blockchain itself. They often rely on external storage solutions like IPFS or traditional cloud services like Amazon, Google, Azure. While this works, introduce another external dependency. It's like having your application's brain in one building and its memory in another building across town. Retrieving information takes time and introduces potential points of failures through different bridges and dependencies. That's where most hacks and vulnerabilities occur. The internet computer is designed to store everything directly on its blockchain 100% in its canister smart contracts. By keeping storage native to the network, it can cut down on the latency you'd get from calling out to an external service by an estimated 50 to 80%. That's huge. This keeps the entire application running 
within one unified system, leading to a more stable and consistent overall performance. Finally, let's touch on how the network reaches an agreement or consensus. The process of getting all the computers in the network to agree can generate a lot of back and forth gossip traffic. Many older systems like those based on classical PFT designs can be very chatty. The Internet Computer Consensus Protocol uses a pipeline approach that splits the process into parts like notarization and finalization. This streamlined approach is designed to reduce gossip traffic by around 60%, making the whole process of creating and confirming blocks of transactions faster and more importantly, consistent. This efficiency is reflected in the network's throughput. For instance, there have been reports of the network consistently handling high transaction volumes consistently. And as you can see from the image with the latest week's data by Chainspec showing a speed of 1,056 transactions per second, making it the most fastest and most securest blockchain in existence based on the Nakamoto coefficient. So what is the result of all these unique architectural designs when you combine a single stack design, ultra fast cryptography, and high performance virtual machine, horizontal scaling, and no user gas fees, and predictable performance, you get a blockchain that operates on a completely different level. It's like trying to compare a Bugatti Veyron and uh, trying to compare a Citroen. Like there's just no comparison in performance. The architectural difference is reflected in performance comparisons, which you can see from the chart. While benchmarks can vary, there have been long periods where ICP has demonstrated a significant speed advantage. For instance, the chain spec data from the last week shows it's performing over 17% faster than Solana. Let's look at the market cap difference for yourself. Nearly five times faster than base, over five times faster than BNB chain, which has multiple times larger market cap with even wider gaps when compared to networks like Tron, Polygon, and Arbitrum. This isn't just about small optimizations. It's the outcome of a fundamentally different architectural approach, a decision to build a unified world computer from the ground up rather than trying to patch the limitations of older designs. And this is what makes ICP the truly only world computer in existence. And if you found this breakdown helpful and want to stay updated on more analysis of interesting technologies in the crypto space, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing because your support helps me create more content like this and it shows that you want it. To sum it all up, the Internet Computer's approach to speed and scalability is built on a series of deliberate, interconnected design choices that set it apart from the rest. Instead of adding layers, it unifies them. Instead of complex signature schemes, it uses highly efficient threshold cryptography. It leverages the modern performance of WASM over EVM and scales horizontally with subnets to avoid fragmentation. Perhaps most importantly for the future of Web3 is its reverse gas model. It removes the biggest barrier to entry for mainstream and obviously mass adoption as users don't pay the gas fees. All of these pieces come together to create a network that is designed for high performance, stable throughput and user experience that feels more like the web we know today. So if you use Intercomputer, you wouldn't know the difference between Web 2 and Web 3. It's a fascinating case study in what can be achieved when you rethink the very foundations of blockchain architecture. Dominic Williams has been building for over a decade. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of R&D development. This is alien technology at its finest. Remember, check out the next video to see how this technology is being used to build real-world applications. And most importantly, 
Remember to stay alert, stay informed, and stay decentralized. And I'll see you on the internet computer. Peace out.